I didn't brine these as much as I marinated them. Maybe the brining would have been better. Getting those edges here. I think the idea worked. is awful warm for vegetables. We're going to turn it down a little bit, but we might be able to get them done quicker. You know, the last few times on the grill, it seems like the vegetables take forever. Ooh, we're going to turn that on low. We're already at 450. I'm going to turn the Brussels sprouts Cut side down, because I like that cut side to have a nice char to it. Yeah. I have to admit, this is the first time I've ever cooked Brussels sprouts out like this. Normally when I cook Brussels sprouts on the grill, they're in an aluminum pocket with some bacon. These are beautiful. The colors are great. It's interesting to watch them pop around like they're like popcorn in a pan or like the little Mexican jumping beans. Whatever happened to jumping beans? Remember those as a child? Do you ever remember playing with Mexican jumping beans? If you did, let me know. here. I'm still leaving this one off now but I did turn this one up to a medium high to get the heat of the grill back up so that we can get a good sear on the pork steaks or the pork ribs or the pork ribeyes or whatever the cut of meat is that I bought. Not using the cooling rack because I want these vegetables to stay hot and to continue to cook for a little while. Sounds good. And again, a mistake I've made, putting all of the meat close together. That concentrates the cool from the meat. So that I spread it out, the heat can get around it. The pork came pre-seasoned with barbecue seasoning from the butcher shop. And then I marinated them in a mix of Worcestershire, garlic, and soy sauce.
The thing I learned from the last grill was the fajita meat was in a marinade and I did not drain it before putting on the grill. This time, these were taken out of the marinade and put on a draining rack or a cooling rack so that they could drip dry. And then I patted them a little bit with a towel. So they were a little bit drier going on to the grill. Well, we got a bit of sear on that one. It's a little bit thinner than the others. I'm sure we're set to try sauce as well as soy sauce, both have sugar. I did not add any. Get them back over here to the hot part of the grill. Even though both sides of the grill are on now, it seems that this side over here is staying a little over 400, and this one's staying mid 300. This is 371, and this is 506. Out shot. I believe we're going to turn the temperatures way down and let them cook slowly. We got the char. Actually, we got the burn. So maybe marinade's not the thing I want to do. So I'm going to get black bean like Maybe I'll go back to brining. Maybe I should and go I back to blinding meat. Stop. These being pork need to be up to 165. Now, I do understand that sometimes pork steak can be in the 135, 140 range. Is that a decent idea for getting the edges? Oh, that's working, guys. Oh, that's working. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to call that one. 